I hope you're excited because you know why? Today we're gonna look at the best camera of 2018. No wait, we're gonna look at the best mirrorless camera of 2018 for $1,000. Which one should you buy? If you're in the process of purchasing a camera, make sure you go to lensrentals.com. Rent the camera that you're looking to buy first. Please rent the camera. Put in the coupon code AKEN15. Save 15% before you buy it, before you make the wrong decision. I wish I would've done that same thing when I first started my company, but nobody loved me enough to tell me that, so I'm telling you. Well, let's start by process elimination. Now, we know the Sony a7S Mark II with the 16 to 35 is not $1,000, so let's get rid of that. These two here, they're mirrorless, they're amazing, but these are under $1,000. Down to these two right here, which ones are gonna be? We get the A6500, we get the A6300. Wait, hold on a second, the A6500, $1,500 with the kit lens. Well, that can't qualify, so we're left with the A6300, yes, yet again. This one is the winner, and let me tell you why. Let's imagine for a minute that you have $1,000 in your pocket, and it may be even a little bit more. Let's pretend you have the $1,500 that it takes to get the A6300. Would I recommend the A6300 if you had $1,500 in your pocket? No. I would still recommend the A6300 for many, 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 many reasons. I mean, let's think about it for a minute. $1,000, what's that gonna buy you? Now, you can get the A5100. That's an amazing camera. It's not 1000 it's quite a bit less. You can get that, but if you wanna move to the next level, the next level, let's say $1,000. Look, even the Sony RX100 Mark VI is $1,200. And that that is not a professional grade camera. What do I call this a professional grade camera? I'd call this a prosumer camera. But that right there is one of the reasons why I would get this camera over many cameras. This is why, number one, let's just start with the obvious, right? When you get this kind of camera, you're getting a professional looking camera. This is a professional looking camera that I can't get back to get, there we go. In terms of photos, this thing has the ability to focus faster than my A7S Mark II, my A7R Mark II, and pretty much any other camera that I own. It is a faster, quicker focuser than all my cameras. Of course it takes raw photos, 24 megapixels, which is just plenty enough for you if you are a prosumer. Pretty nice, huh? This camera can shoot 4K. whoop de doo A lot of cameras shoot 4K. Your phone probably shoots 4K, but it shoots good 4K. 100 megabytes per second, right? And that's exactly what my A7S Mark II shoots. So it's shooting roughly the same. So the A6300 compared to the A6500, in fact, let's, get, let's bring him back. Let's, where's he at? There he is. The A6500, is it really worth the extra money for the additional quality? Do you think it's really gonna give you that much more quality for the $500? Well, Let's take a look. The difference is so minuscule, your eyeball is not gonna be able to see it. And for me to spend extra money, not necessary. Stick with the A6300. All right, I know I'm gonna hear about this, so I'm gonna go ahead and face it. I'm gonna face you right there, because I know you're commenting angry right now below. The A6300 is beat by the A6500 majorly in one way. Let's talk about it right now. The five axis stabilizer that the A6500 has, yes. It's amazing, but I have a workaround. Hang on, and it's actually cheaper than the additional $500 you'll pay for the A6500. You ready for this? Boom, the Zion, still can't say it right, Crane V2, it's $399 right now. So we have $1,000, $399, that's $1,400 for those that can't do that. $1,500, boom, still more expensive, problem solved. You're welcome. If you're considering this camera, it's probably because you're considering doing something maybe for a living, something to earn some money. And this would be an amazing camera to start with. This camera also has the ability to shoot in 1080 at 120 frames a second, 60 frames a second. I don't know what else you want. Expensive cameras, most of them don't even do that. Or at least most of Canon's cameras don't do that. This camera's amazing. Hands down, for $1,000, there's nothing better you can buy for a thousand bucks. One of the main reasons you'd wanna go with this camera opposed to like an A5100, and I made a video about the A5100 right about here. You wanna go with this because it is a prosumer version of a camera, right? So if you're getting this camera, if you wanna invest the money, it's probably because you wanna make some money at doing this. So with me, for example, I had to get permission from my wife to get cameras, to get drones, to get all this stuff, and I had to start making money with these things, so I had to go the prosumer version. At the time, it was a Canon Rebel, or I, okay, I had a Canon at one time, but not anymore. One of the main differences when you're switching from the A5100 to the A6300 is the professional settings. This is a professional camera. I mean, whether you wanna say it or not, prosumer, professional, whatever, prosumer. Prosumers still make money, because I was a prosumer and I made money. You have the manual settings, and that is key. With these other cameras, less than $1,000, you're not gonna get those manual settings when it comes to Sony. And you'll find as a professional, you need to 
be able to switch back and forth between all the settings very lickety split. And once you get used to it, you could probably do it blindfolded. Or maybe not. The other amazing thing about this camera that not even my expensive Sony A7S Mark II doesn't have is touch screen settings. How nice is that? Sony, why did you stop doing that? I have no clue why you stopped doing that. More affordable camera, touch screen. Expensive camera, no touch screen. That doesn't make sense. Now, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, Brian, why don't you consider the A6000? There's one big reason. It starts with micro, it ends with phone input. Yes. This camera has an input. It is one of the first level Sonys that have an input at this price point. To get a microphone input, it is just incredible how much money you have to spend. You need to spend thousands of dollars before you can have a camera that has an input for your microphone. If you're a YouTuber, this is necessary. If you do anything, <laughs> this is necessary. Anything with video, if you wanna have good audio, you have to have an input for your microphone, especially when you're at this level. You're not gonna have expensive microphones like this one or like this one. Where is it? There it is. You know, you're not gonna have these. Why would you? This is gonna be your money maker, and this is key, and this is one of the major reasons why I love this camera. Here's my major tip for people that are beginning. When you're buying a camera and you're starting out and you're getting into industry and you haven't started making a ton of money yet, don't buy the more expensive one. It's not necessary. Start making money with this guy first. Use this. If you're teeter-totter between the 6500 and the 6300, please lean towards this bad boy because it's gonna be the smarter decision. Once you start spending more money, you might as well get a full frame sensor camera anyways. But before you do that, stick with this guy. I'm telling you, it's gonna be the best decision you ever made. And if you stick with it, you'll get the full frame sensor when you are ready and move up. Just go up to, to skip a step. Don't go to the A6500, go straight to whatever is next, the A7S Mark III, hopefully soon got it. Please let it come out. But this is the best camera you can buy for $1,000 right now. Highly recommended, but wait, let me tell you the one thing I can't stand about this camera and most of Sony cameras. I don't know why they can't get this one thing right where Canon can. Canon, you're beating us here. You are beating us, Canon. Flip screen. <laughs> There's no flip screen. This $500 camera here has a flip screen but this $1,000 camera does not. Very, very frustrating, but I do have a fix. Hang on. Now this might cost you a little bit more money, but if you're gonna invest in anything, invest in lenses. Boom, there you go. 10 to 18 millimeter, fixes a problem. It, you can't really miss your face, I mean, unless you're really bad at aiming. I mean, you should just point it this direction and you don't really need to see yourself. I mean, do you really? I mean, do, are you really that insecure? I'm joking, it helps. I'm telling you, it's not necessary. I do all my vlogging on the A7S Mark II with the 16 to 35, which is pretty much the same exact thing as this, just a couple thousand dollars less. Now I promise you, if, if I was starting my my company today, like I did five years ago, this is the camera that I would be starting with. This is the one to start with. If you're starting a career and you're being smart with your finances, you need to get this A6300. It's an amazing camera. You will love this camera. If you don't wanna believe me, that's fine. I don't care, don't, don't. But do this. Right now I'm an affiliate partner with LensRentals.com. Go on there, get a 15% discount. Use my coupon code AKEN15. They have any camera you could ever think of there. If you're a Canon person, they got Canons, they got Sonys, Panasonics, they got cameras I've never heard of before. Go there, save some money, rent the camera first, make sure you love it. And if you wanted to, in most cases, you could even buy it from them. In the meanwhile, if you wanna see me compare any other cameras, do me a favor, go to LensRentals.com, find the camera that you want, copy the link, put it in the comments, and put Versus and find the other camera, put it in there, and I will get the cameras and I will review it for you so you don't have to go through the painful process that I had to go through in buying all these cameras to learn the hard way. If you wanna see the reviews I did on the Sony A5100 or the Sony A7S, I'll put a link above. But in the meanwhile, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you soon.